Hello, beautiful beings. Well, okay. I haven't heard Let's Make a Video for a while. I've been feeling it. My mouth is starting to uh, tingle and itch right now. Um, I've been hearing it for three or four days. It's been kind of coming in on the on my peripheral, you know, about making a video. And then, just, so just now, I was like, you know, grabbing the tripod and getting ready. And I was just like, oh, wow, okay, I'm making a video. Crazy. After like six, seven months. <laughs> so, hello. I just moved, well, not just, but about a week and a half ago, I moved out of the cabin. That was one of my last videos, is I was moving into the cabin next door. So I wintered there, and it was great. And, you know, I've been a hermit for about nine years, and uh, recently I won the uh, roommate lottery. And I get to move into my new place June 1st, so I'm here in my beautiful tiny home for another, like, five weeks a little over five weeks but that's fine it's very cozy here and but it's it's pretty amazing to to have gotten the place that I'm going I will I feel like I will be and I see myself making a video uh, during that transition also and I'll show you you know where I'm moving to and my roommates and uh, yeah, it's it's a brand new phase of life and I'm extremely excited about it It feels like you know life has really since I was about 24 years old It has been I was a seeker for a really long time I, I wanted to know why I was here and you know, well, why why am I here? <laughs> That's always been my biggest question and then specifically for the last nine years I have been um, you know, just going wherever the I felt the divine was wanted me to live and my desire was to be wherever the the greatest presenters were so I could get through this ascension process as fast as possible <laughs> which doesn't always mean you know the the best roommates it's you know it's it can be really stressful going through the ascension process because the people we're often surrounded by are our presenters they're the they they are our teachers at the time and and instead of resisting them you know i i would they would make me turn and look i would of course i resisted for a long time until i finally learned that they unless i addressed why they were triggering me in the first place they were never going to leave my life so i feel like i've been graduating 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 as i'm sure so many other people have felt that way for a really long time now. And now I feel like I'm, uh, I get to go to a place where there really aren't, for the last couple of years being in the RV park, there really haven't been very many uh, presenters at all. Uh, th there's only really been one lady that I didn't get along with here and, you know, we were just hugging a few days ago, so. <laughs> Either that's a huge bird, oh it is, it's a huge, oh it's like a, like a ginormous raven. Um, just gliding in. I thought maybe it was an eagle or an airplane. <laughs> um, ancients, is there any specific reason we're making this video? Oh, I went on a sugar binge this winter, and instead of starving myself, uh, I made myself start working out. So I, I got home after cleaning a house, and I worked out tonight, and I've been lifting weights. And instead of you know losing weight, I've just turned the I've just turned the you know the sugar weight whatever into muscle, and I'm feeling so amazing. My back isn't hurting at all anymore. You know I've really been uh, really working hard at making it a habit. Hey hey bud making it a habit to keep doing it. And I was thinking that I should work out every day, but you know, my job is, is a workout in itself. And you know, I just need to rest for a few days at a time. Sometimes I just really listen to my body and, but I keep going. I'm so excited. Uh, I just feel tremendous after I work out. It's only a 15 minute aerobic workout, aerobic and strengthening. And then I lift weights. Uh, I have some dumbbells right now. And I do, um, I started, when I started working out, which was about three months ago now, I could do one set of three push-ups. <laughs> That's how weak I was. Like my shoulder muscles specifically were super atrophied and uh, I just kept persevering and now I can do uh, three set uh, three sets of 15. 
And I have these here. I'll get them. Because my wrists, um, my right wrist especially, kind of hurts uh, when I try to put pressure on it. So I got these push-up bars that I put on the floor. And so I grab onto those and it has really helped strengthen my, my wrists also. And... Uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. And also I don't uh, do them from my toes. I do them from my knees. It's called modified uh, push-ups, but I found the results are just as good and it doesn't put a huge strain on my body, my lower back specifically. So yeah, I really don't see you know anything else specific coming in. That right there, they were saying, is a huge part of why they wanted me to make this video. I didn't realize was you know, not going back to anorexic behavior and just starving myself because of the sugar binge weight. Um, you know, I know that sounds like bulimia, you know, the sugar binge, but, but, you know, that's just a part I, th I think being a recovering addict or just a human being is, you know, having a sugar binge now and then. And I'm just, you know, it was, it feels like a little test, you know, have you got this one? Are you going to, you know, lose this excess, you know, sugar weight? from, you know, in a healthy way. Yes, I am. Yes, I did. And I continue to. So, and it keeps my metabolism, um, at a really, really good, um, rate. I don't know how to say that, but okay. Anyway, so, uh, good to talk to you. I, I'm not sure when I'll talk to you again, but oh yeah, that's right. At least when I move, uh, June 1st, I'll be talking to you. Um, if anything's bothering you, don't hesitate to reach out uh, we at satsongwithmamag at gmail.com or you can leave me a comment in the comment section or a question. Okay, love you so much.